We're living through a time of darkness, despair and division in the UK right now. If you're a Christian or a church leader, I'd ask you just to take a few minutes to listen to this message. I'm about to stand on some of the bridges where I live to make a prophetic sign to you. It's always our job to make disciples, but especially at this point in our history, we've got an unprecedented opportunity to bring answers where they're so desperately needed. You can build a bridge with the gospel that people can cross. You can lead us across to a place of hope because people are scared and they're lost and they're filled with pessimism about their future. Now is an extraordinary time for you to heal divisions in the nation and to bring hope with the gospel of peace. You might well ask, how can I be so sure? Well, in 2011, it was prophesied that there would be a political leadership vacuum in the nation and that the church would have an unprecedented opportunity to make disciples. That vacuum has been starving us of oxygen for some time now. This isn't party political, but any party that forgets that its democratic purpose is to govern for the people and by the people and to serve the people it represents and not just to survive in government at any cost, isn't leading, it's lording. That means for the ordinary man and woman like you and me, there's no hope. If we had good leadership, our politicians would be trying to build bridges between different factions and bring peace instead of division. They'd be putting our needs first. They'd be inspiring hope, but they can't because we have a spiritual problem and they simply lack the tools to do anything about it. No government can solve this, but you can. You can show the right kind of servant leadership that we so desperately need. You can give people hope. That's why I'm going around all the cities in the UK to pray and to bring a simple message of hope and peace. I've boiled it down to this simple message for people. Can you take a lead and do just these three things? Be merciful, be kind, and be forgiving. Or in other words, can you love your neighbor as yourself? Can you put the needs of others first? Can you treat other people as you want to be treated yourself? If you can do that, and you can make disciples who can do that, then you'll be setting an example to our politicians and you'll be bringing peace instead of division. You'll be building bridges instead of walls. And instead of a spirit of despair, you'll be bringing a spirit of hope. If you can use the gospel as a bridge between a place of despair and a place of hope, then you'll be bringing the kind of leadership the country needs right now.